say thanks for all your work and doing in our life. Be that way exalted in Jesus' name. Then we will pray. All right, then, see them. This morning we'll be looking at the price of greatness. If I really want to be great, what it will cost us to be great in life. It is very, very important. Many people are starting to be great in this time, both in positive and negative ways. If you want to be great, what was important to how do I be great in life? He said, the loss of power and money sex has dominated our world since that time and now immemorial. The loss of so many things. If you see what is happening in social media, what I'm showing you, how people are able to be on top, everybody wants to be on top. I want to be on top. You find out on a healthy competition with friends. Some friends will sell their friends in order for them to be on top. There are so many things that are happening, but that's not the right way to be great in life. And that's why the Lord is telling us that we need to look unto Him as our model in whatever we are trying to do. We cannot use to bring people down in order to become great. It is not good. The world believes that anyone who possesses more power and money is great. For Jesus said in Luke chapter 12, verse 15, if you are not like children, you are not great. Luke chapter 12, verse 15. Sorry that I didn't give them. Luke 12. He said, He said unto them, Take heed or beware of preciousness. For a man's life considered not but the abundance of the things which he possesses. You know how much things you can. I have 100 billion. I have 20 billion. That does not mean you are a, a rich or a great man. That's what God reminded us today. He said, even since the day of the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffering for a while. But he said, John the Baptist is now. He didn't have any earthly possession. If you read Matthew chapter 17, 11 or 11. He said, among all the women that are, among the children that are given up by men, John the Baptist is the greatest. Among everyone that are going to be born on this earth, till tomorrow, whether you are in that, that hotel, whether you are the richest one, uh, the gates, John the Baptist is the greatest. So that's what I don't want to say. Matthew 11, 11. Matthew chapter 11, verse 11. Greater than him. And you see what he said. In this world, John is the greatest, but the least person in heaven is greater than John. Now, what is he trying to explain for this particular thing? Talking about humility, humbling yourself. You cannot be great if you don't fulfill the purpose of God in your life. And I'm always stressing today. People think about fulfilling the purpose of God in their life when I get married. I have children. I live comfortably. I have cats I want. I do the have. That is not the purpose of God in your life. <clears throat> That's something that touched me when I was reading the book of Job chapter 11. 11, 12, 10. I was already going down and find out this for my life and what nothing. There's a place of was asking this. If you die, where do you go? Where do you know that you go? He said that no part of the of the man is just like nothing. That will end up with grave and God will not say anything. You remain there. So I really have to touch myself and say, wow. And you have to understand everything about our life is born by home. But how do you live your life now? Matters a lot. I'm not always tired because of we know the season we are. So anybody that's looking at the rain to come to church and make mistake. That is normal. You can't stop July. You can't stop. Praise the Lord. So God reminding you and me to know that greatness is not based on what you have on earth. We Christian values as a change. So we need to change our values. Sometimes we confuse the word, what the world is saying. Setting our priority right. We are confused in putting or setting our priority right. Because we are confused. This man is a rich man. This man is a great man. This man is a wealthy man. But the eyes of God is he great. I read the book of Ephesians chapter 12. He said, there's a little things that matter so much. 
small thing. Are you watching the life of people around you? I will take time, I will see some time because I, we are late. Are you watching the life of people that is around you? That one makes you great. One day, one young man walked to me. I said, somebody is on there. He said, yes. He said, what did you do down? I said, I will be the best even when they put me in the prison. I know you are going to bear me. Some of us are going to you know the guy that followed you. He said, somebody is on there. Come on, get to town. I will get down. If the police carry me, I know you are going to come and bear me. I will go and say, no, to that, please. What is your fight? But no one is showing you the extent of communication and relationship. It's not sometimes I'm hungry. They are doing a If you stop a hundred million, greatness. Many people have passed millions of money in their house. Their relationships are dying. They are too wealthy that their people around them are dying. I want to have a not make you great. But what you invest in the kingdom makes you great. How you put life and influence the environment makes you great. Praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord to God. Obedience and faithfulness are supposed to be our priority. Faith and financial prosperity influence. Sorry, I'm also in that's why I don't know where. Influence is no most important thing. Coming to the greatness, but how you handle those successful success is because what makes you great. Sorry, I'm coming down. Money, fame, all those things you acquire that don't make you great. But how you handle that success makes you great. I see some people when they get money, nobody will pass the road where they are passing. You can't pass that road because now they are a great man. If they park their car, their car will not pass until they know. Sometimes they even block the road, they don't care. You'll be honest them before you know they will slap you. If they slap you, they go to the commission of the police, they'll come and arrest you. And they blow life on your head. And they say life on your head, you go to prison, struggle to save yourself. And you say, it's a great man. You say, when I was reading something, I found out that our, mini, our ministers, our governors, our presidents did not know what they meant that to be great. It's not about packing the money and enter into an account. Come on. I want to listen to one of the sinners in Ghana, what they are talking about, they need to them, how they are going to shun, sanction the country that sanctioned them. US. Nigeria cannot do it. Nigeria will respect a white man more than a black Nigerian. They will search you, but they will go fast and they will not search you. That's why when you go to the companies where corrupt people go, they maltreat our citizens the way they like. I had one company beside where I was living before, a, a generator company. They went to Ghana, Ghana got the condition how they are going to operate in Ghana. If you cannot pay our Ghanaian citizens the way you pay the white man, you will not stay. For Nigeria, they pay white people. But in your country, in your country, they treat you. In the same country, in the left, they treat you the same thing. And they pay our citizens enough. You know. And our citizens are the ones who need great day because they will not care for our citizens. Then I told them when they came, say, How much you are paying the white man is how much you are going to pay the black, the Ghanaian. If you know so, you don't do it. Because the minute you get a job is done by people. They will be there, they go home with big cars, you will go home with the leg. Some of them, even on the process of cutting out, they cut their hands. They will their hands. I see some of them with bandages. I think they were rejoicing for 20,000, 30,000. Check what you can do to this support of I will be fast as well. I have less than 40 minutes. What are you going to do to make somebody happy? You will never need to be able to put a smile on the face of someone. And I pray that God will help us in Jesus' name. He said, greatness comes from God. He told Abraham that he will make him great. He will make the name great. And God confirmed greatness of people through his own son in serving acts. 
He does it the way he likes. How many people is now? I pack up and go. They go your way. Okay, this is not good. This is some more. He sweats. I told people if you want to see people that are supposed to be great, those barrel pushers. People that are floating their content. I see you have plenty content that one, which one content 100 million, this one 100 million. They have been so glad to offload it. And when you come and say, I'm going to be paying you people 500 now for each one. And they calculate this only 30,000. They will be happy. They will be praying for you to bring another container. So that they can be able to offload. When you sit there and you use the other and calculate, you have 100 million, how much you are going to get. That is not that you work hard. If you buy strength, you can do it. If you buy a hard work, you can never reach that place. I don't know. Praise the Lord. The servants of Jesus Christ asked them, Who is the greatest in the kingdom? And Jesus answered them, Matthew chapter 18, verse 1. He brought a little child close to you. He said, If you cannot bring a little baby, you are not great. How many of you can I offend tomorrow today? Tomorrow you forgive me. So many people are offended in what the pastor told them. The pastor told me, Come with that thing. Do you know how much I hate that church? Do you know I'm the one that gave him money to eat? Is gone. He will never. Re- I didn't say he will never do what. Remember he did again. Touch an hour of glory will come for you. Can't do it. 1978. You say this one. 2020. You didn't do this one. 2022. You are the one that gave me a knock on the head. He can't. He will give you that. Some people are writing the offense on the books so that they can remember the dates. Greatness to be like a little baby. If you cannot be like a little child, you cannot be great in his kingdom. Now, have you ever seen that and ask yourself, why did Jesus Christ choose to choose a baby, a little child, in the midst of all the adults? He didn't want to choose a man, he chose a little child, because they know they can easily let go. I say, Jesus Christ wants us to understand that you don't need to establish yourself. In their own strength and wisdom. You cannot. You don't need this. In their own strength and your wisdom, you will be the one that raises you up. There are some people that will come here and say, if in your office there is a lot of problem, God will immediately go to the man. It will show the amount of people. Because you cannot say, the hand of the king is in the hand of who? Hand of God. There are some problems we will experience in life because of whatever calling. So Paul was asking Jesus Christ, why are you here? His brother. He said, You are the king of you are the Messiah. You are sitting in the house making noise. Why do you go to the temple? Christ did not answer them. But before they can reach to the temple, they saw the same Jesus Christ inside the temple teaching. And Bible said in Acts chapter 10, that they said, Christ was anointed, he was going about doing Nathaniel and Ask us, is there any good thing that will come from Nazareth? Jesus answered that question before and that was the question I asked the question. He was going about being good. There are certain things God does in our life people don't appreciate. There's a woman that came here, I think it was on Thursday. When the Lord spoke to her, he said, you have a problem down there here. He said, since more than five days, I can't get myself. This thing I've been there. I had me, I probably didn't even know what I'm saying, but I know God told me that something here. Who the woman if you look at so bad? But we take the trickle of the three five minutes. She was able to jump up and want to say Jesus thank you. That shows the greatness of Jesus in a little little things. Not to you, Pastor, not church. Everyone is stand on what I will get. Give me this one and give you. Christ was able to give you free. That is a great God. There are no other God that you go to today that will not ask you for money. There's something we were discussing on last Sunday with the pastor. With uh, one of my former uh, pastors. We were talking about pastor. He said, Why so many men of God collect money from people? He said, Because of so many will not buy. I said, You're making a mistake. Do you bring them? Hello. Are you the one that brought them there? You went ahead of God to collect money from them. I'm going to keep 
went. Do you know why sometimes God gave went? Earth belongs to you. Heavenly, this all everything. But he gave you earth. Or you do whatever you like. When you read the flat, the flat is yours. If you like, you go naked in the rubber pot and nobody will bury you. But the day your money expires in that particular place, it's no more your own house until you renew. So earth is yours. Do whatever you like. Even though it's not the only universe. I don't mind if you have that kind of mentality, so. If you sort of think people act as normal, you cannot know. If you see somebody die and you ask him money first, maybe you are not eating, you want to collect money. And I'm telling you, if you collect that money, you will not have any attention again to do something. Yes. You will not have attention because you are putting your needs, what you are expecting from me. If you say, give me that 50,000 naira, I will pray for you. I told people that come to church. If you ask anybody that say, bring money, we are going to have me, I don't go tell you. Go and do your fasting. Go and do your prayer. Me, I don't go feel fast for you. I never finish my own. God bless of your own. But the only thing I can do for you, if I'm not directed to pray for you, I will pray for you. That does not mean I may not remember your prayer. But tell you, bring money, we are going to say life. Cannot happen. Some of you don't do not think that I pass in the week. Some people are giving me one day, but they say, hey, it's too much. <laughs> Praise the Lord. God is commanding us to know promotion of God's kingdom. If you are great, come God, come to God, submit to God, and return to Him. And turn everything God from Him back to Him. Most of people don't give God glory for what God has done in their life. What God has done in their life. The greatness of the world is wandering in the pleasure in this world. It is in this world. One of the brothers is come to church called me this day. He said, His brother is dying. I said, Your brother, you say, what happened? We just died. I said, Your brother get poisoned. She was not the dirty blood, for eating blood. I said, your mother ate poison. They took it to the hospital. They said, this is no hospital matter. Your mother had only today. That day is a Monday. But if they didn't take care of your mother, it's going. You know, some hospitals will tell you, bring money. They say, okay, bring one million naira for operation. It's the same money you need, 500,000 to start. Before they get they cannot be able to do it again. They try to get the money from them. Right there, I said, why don't go to Luke before they go to Luke? That's the end. When the man was crying, I said, you know that you're supposed to die like this? I said, you're supposed to die like this. You had poison around four years ago. He said, yes. But God saved you. So people come because of you want to come together, squandering money. Friends, get my friends, get back. You know who is coming with a negative mindset. How to destroy you. Just go again. Scatter yourself. I was showing my, my wife saying, there's one young man I talk about in them. He's one of the knowledge good actors. In the kind of group where there's a he can't think I use the hand cover. I said, well, then I don't the house. So when I don't put the house, so you went to the house and said, well, I can put you up on your way to get a friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He says, well, I don't the house. Because you know, anything can happen. He doesn't know who had him in mind before coming. Okay, imagine a young man that married with the children. How in a day he just give up his life? You must know where you may go to. That is not where in a day. What are you? Some of you say you, you can do it in your house. My friend, my friend, that the one is not the only time. Indeed, he will carry to buy some people and buy all stuff. Buy some more to come to the house. Buy that. He will be ready to sleep. It's like a very special number of a problem. I don't know what I don't want to do. 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 He will stay there until he will not go to the bar. He will finish in the house. And he will sleep because you know that in his house he is secure. You know about squandering needs everywhere. Have you invested in the people's life? There are some people that are here, 
You see complaints everywhere. God wants us to understand that for you to be able to be now a great in his kingdom, you must be like little kids. Let him go and live in now a selfless life. The purpose of greatness is to give others a race, not to suppress other people. Give them a race, cheat them, that's greatness. There's a reason why God will make you great in your family. So that you can be a leader that leads other people to win. That man was crying. He said something to me when I was calling him to God. So he said, you know what pain he said, Pastor said. That man was the only person that when we have issue, we can put her together with some of the problem. He's still doing well. This one is a rich person. But he lifted the guy. That when they have issue, two of them will come together without other brothers to solve a financial problem in the house. He said, those people that are busy will touch you to very well. This is what I listen to him. When they have issue, who would you call to gather with you? Is it only you? There are some people that have some uh, town I envy in this particular and uh, you won't have it. is doing that. Nkana is doing that. Osuka is doing it. If I Osuka find is here and I'm very one, bring this brother. Abad like man, they bring your brother. Go to Osaka and they dominate everywhere. Business, right business, everywhere. Provision, everywhere. What a man in the truth here. Come on, you want to be, you come all the devils, you say, they reconcile them. 
Yes. So that when the master took him and made him go the problem with the master, and he was thrown away, they can be able to accept him and help him. He said, look at an unbeliever. But in the wise they know what of you. We don't know how to make friends as a Christian. We don't know how to make friends as a Christian. Christians believe for themselves. They look at the family to the back, even though I don't know how to go. There's something that happens here that touches me. It's that for someone else. They went again. Let that have a problem. I know some of people thought that the bank is so cruisy. If you overstay their time of their stay, maybe they are given a time and you go to eat, accumulate to jail and now payment of now late. So the guy now was so uncomfortable that he wanted to come back. All of a sudden he had a fell down where he was walking. He could nobody to take care of him. He was going to church with stress. He went to one church, he didn't feel it. Everyone saw him look at him. As long as they entered the church. So what is it? Put him to make him later. Uh, they defeated him. The guy asked him if he wants to stay. The guy said, You don't want to start here. He did everything and went and paid all his investment and bought a price because he's a Christian. But he didn't know the man because of the name Christian. When the guy was very sad, I was like, I said, When I told you not to go, you do here. Probably people will hear that if I said not to go, what is my business? You know they give me the money. I know they tell me you know to let me let me be myself and go. If it's because of risk, I told the boss, you know, go to this day, they can one of our brother, not place of Dubai. If the sun in Dubai hits you, you will make a fall aside. Then you will know me. The one of the sisters got angry, I didn't say thank you for sending this brother. What was I saying thank you to sending your brother to Dubai? I mean to very thanks. But I told you not to do that. Save that money and you to establish a business here. He didn't hear. The boy himself traveled. The boy said, hey, Daddy, please, I never received your blessing. You travel, say, yeah. God, God is spending in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, That's me. I want to know my thing of God. If you want to know I told you to come to me. You cannot do that. When you stay kata kata kata, problem with your story, you have to wear. I will give you at the end of I said, you put them with this money you wasted now. That's the reason why God said, don't go. Use that money. If I can you open up a show for one business for this guy. And this is the no way they didn't spend up to two million naira. That one business would have been far for you. That's why God says stop. And you don't let work to me. Years back when I was starting this work, her mother is a prophetess and her mother is no one. He said, she said it's a prophetess. She wants to use my head. He said, I want you to help me pray. It's okay. There's one guy that wants to marry me. I find out that you want to marry another person. But I would like you to go to the, the branch of that particular church to prophesy to that man that she is his wife. He said, no, I'll pray for you. No, man. And that time, my pocket is very red. I couldn't even marry so you can put the whole cross on my head and I say, I And the message is going to want to say that in Jesus' name before you message. I said, no, me. I said, can we go and pray? Say, yes. If you don't know it down, as you are praying, the Lord say, in the matter of the say, they didn't tell you you should not go. He said, you should not go. He said, I can see my face, I can say, see my back. I don't know. <laughs> the man that came on me before, he said, it's the thank you very much. Okay. I have warned my daughter, let that man go, let that man go. Imagine when I'm going to GIA, people that are there are seniors. I want to be fair and destroy myself. I said, I will not do that. I can't, I want to be, you didn't even talk about anyone. I will not lie to somebody, and this is your wife. Okay, why is that I didn't know the person? So when you walk in, you are going to take me around to the next side. You may take that one. Let's go on here. So we have a simple amount of times. What does government say? Change this year, change this year. When we are starting this war, you don't look at the in the message. I will be like this. In Jesus' name, from the back, the front seat, I always do it here. I can close my hand and talk to anybody. From this side, number four, I will be talking to you without opening my hand. So problem will keep message in four on their head. This message, you are a foreign company. I need to get you a foreign company. 
You are a liar. After you say the thing is in you are missing. Now you think you are saying the same. The guy will be shocked. The 
are staying in the church. You know what you see in the only day? Sometimes God will come to church looking for some people to bless them. He said, You are always sitting here, but I didn't see you today here. You wait and wait and wait again. You know, that's the end. It is still reality today. If you are in a church, you are present, it's not fair. Go and do something like God. Oh, any moment you go, any moment you come, God knows that you are here. This is a serious spiritual business. It's not a business of me. As I am, even when I'm sick, I come to church. I don't come when I was through operation in my I'll say, ah, that one I was here. I don't come, I don't come. Whatever I say, Professor, I don't care. The day the doctor even told me you are this one, I came to. People, I said, well, for me, I'm coming. The patient was dead me, but I have to come and speak. We will sit with Malaria and Tapo, we sit down, we sit people. We don't wait. I was about praying after praying before. The minister, one of my best friends, Sean, sent me to say, I am dying. I was about praying, I hope everything I've done in my heart. He said, What did you tell me? He said, For a minute, today, if you sit there, I'm not going to reach you. It's my wife. I started praying for him within that particular time. Sean, as I was telling him, he said, You have a couple of I just thought about calling back in his house. I play with him. This is what I'm saying. For you to understand it. It is how you touch life of people that are going to touch you. Don't be an island. Don't be only yourself. And don't be selfish. Be sensitive to spiritual things. Necessity is spiritual thing. So, no matter how you are done, don't say it for one day it will come. It will surely come. It will. Praise the Lord. The greatest never feeling is secure. It will be used as a tool to enhance the development of other people. Not for letting it weep on to destroy others. You never feel insecure. If I give you, are you going to be better than me? It is better that doesn't matter. It is better the most important thing that you have said. I invested in this system. So it doesn't matter what that is better. What, what, what did you invest for you to be good? That's the reason why you invest in the person. And he restored, say, he restored everything that I take away. As a king, he has them to take away everything soul. Mm. He gave back every property and land of soul. And still call the guy the wife that you eat on my table every day. Forget about that each one plan against David. We have the vision and the local shape of words. And this one each one is one that's supposed to be the king. But this one don't have that. This is one of uh, Jonathan. Still, he had them give back everything. Even at the point, they were against him. He didn't give. He said, You will sit among these kings, the prince and princess, and look on the table. And when they sit together, you won't be able to know who is who or who is not. They are the same. How you treat the little child in your home is very important. A child that will be a man can be a mother tomorrow. There are some people that are some children living with them and they when they are the mother tomorrow, they don't come back to them anymore because of the way you treat them. There are some children when they live with you, whenever they are mad, calling you, remembering you for what you invested in their life. And from there, you already do the relationship. Yeah, children can leave that place to that place. And they are secure without being afraid. Some of us believe that when we form the baby that we're living with us, and how to tell that particular child, they say, there's one other, they say, Eva and Abba no more wearing the nan nan ba. Eva and Abba no more wearing the nan nan ba. I can't wear the nan nan and everything. I'm not going to see you. They will be lying. I see this story here. They don't hear was adopted in a family. And she was growing. Through her now, God blessed the man, the mother, they have a child. And women, women are now cooking. There's a subject 
something that is supposed to preach, I will preach, I will preach it up there, I will preach it. Uh, uh, maybe I can still talk it the Sunday before I visit in one of the village uh, couples that I'm going to preach on that day. They say, Father, uh, Father, she can't have this in my head. The reason why God commanded you should shut your mouth is because of women. Women talk too much. Yes, read it very well. Women talk too much. The one they see, the one they not see. The lady is so clear of that, say that it's don't you know you are an adopted child. So the girl was shocked. He said, yes, I'm adopted. We're not here. We're not here. And unfortunately, unfortunately, there are one that was sitting at the window, listening to two of them. One was who pushed the one you thought that you are born. To push the one that opened up for you. To tell that one that you are an adopted child. And that one, I don't know what gave him that particular knowledge. He said, yes, that without me, you that have been born here, you cannot come. That end of the whole matter, the mother was shocked, the baby was shocked today. And that's it. In the kingdom of God, they didn't ask you how you are born, or what did you do? Whether they give birth to you in the house, whether they give birth to you in an aeroplane, whether they give birth to you even in the grass. I see people that are born in their own family, they are all robbers. People that are not born, they say they don't have father, they are the ones that are changing the town for good. It depends on the train. Yes. So nobody should despise you, nobody should look back on you. From here, you can tell me that the most important thing to cultivate and culture yourself to live according to align your life lifestyle according to God's word. There's nothing you can never be ashamed. My mother said to me, Say, Hey, who would I say? Yes, if I did an appointment, you won't like it. I'm going to go. I'm going to say, My brother, I'm going to say, I'm going to This particular child will wipe away tears from your car. But don't let me press up. Press up. Press up. I'm going to go. The man said, if you even if you like to drink any drugs, that baby will not come as a prophet. He will never leave. Everything that works in life, why do you say all things work okay, good together for them that call? I don't know what happened in your life, but it's going to change for your own good. The reason. You know, God will not tell you the reason why you want to do something. Somebody will jump and say you are divorced. Tell you. Most important thing, stick with God. Somebody will tell you that you are married. Stick with God. You know you are not rich. Stick with God. One day, it will change. So why? If I'm not here at this time, so so something will happen. He has a reason in everything why it happened. Don't kill yourself. Only look at your manufacturer. God is your manufacturer. Problem will happen. We are looking at people that cannot change anything. Their thoughts, their crime, their pity party can't change anything. The only thing that changes things in your life is faith. And you cannot have faith in other person except the one that created you. If you have faith in other things, they will fail you. But Jesus, if you have faith in Him, you see, we die. Things will change for good. I do sometimes when I, I say I don't have mother, I don't have people say that I have mother. Yes, but I have reason why I say because the only thing I have in life, I don't in my opinion that I say God first. That the people are writing galaxies, writing planets if they are no way you make their plane on my cars. People like galaxies. Would would all of them are writing so many things. What is in my body voice in God in God, God first in my life. I use the why is because it's the only one that will raise you. People thought you are not going to be somebody. I am waiting for my mom to say, hey, so this is your poor man. In their mind, you are not going to be useful. Madam Rocha. They don't want that I'll be carrying God going around shooting people and arrow. They don't want that I'll be just say, you don't define this one, don't do this one now, but above it's not so. This is Look at 
I was talking to one of my aunties, I'm back to get on my own. I told him, you know, it is only me, through me, they will hear the names of their body. Change. Me. If you click one, Nakin Sin. If you click one again, Nakin Sin. If you go to YouTube, Nakin Sin. If you go to website, Nakin Sin. No, okay, the other for now. You come and bring your own audience. You see that? Back off. But you keep on pressing. That's what we keep on pressing. Keep on 